We'll return to our coverage of the coronavirus pandemic in a few moments, but first uh, we have some very, very sad news to bring you tonight. Phyllis George has died. The former Miss America, First Lady of Kentucky, the broadcasting pioneer, was 70 years old. She died Thursday at the University of Kentucky Medical Center following a very long illness. A fraction of her accomplishments uh, would have been a full life for most people. She was also a, a very good friend for many years and the proud mother of our CNN colleague and friend Pamela Brown and her brother Lincoln. Both are very, very special and wonderful people. Our chief media correspondent, Brian Stelter, is joining us right now. Uh, Brian, she lived a, a truly extraordinary life. Uh, what was her impact, first of all, on the world of television? Yes, yeah, she absolutely did, Wolf, and this is a, a loss of an icon uh, in the media world, as well as an enormous loss uh, for Pamela Brown and for her family and for the family there. You know, Phyllis was the first female co-anchor of NFL Today, the famous football pregame show on CBS. She was a trailblazer in the 1970s uh, when there were so few women uh, on television uh, anchoring and covering sports. She was able to interview football stars and other legends in a way that nobody else was. She she was able to get them to open up. In fact, uh, her fellow co-hosts on the NFL Today praised her for her humanity and her ability to get people to share their personal experiences. So she was doing that for years on CBS. She also covered Super Bowls and Rose, Rose Bowls and other premier sporting events uh, and, and then went on to host shows like Candid Camera. Uh, she briefly hosted the CBS the News Morning Show. Uh, she had these important jobs in broadcasting at a time when you didn't see women in those roles. And she deserves a lot of credit for being a trailblazer in that way. I know you had a chance to speak uh, with our, our, our colleague uh, Pamela uh, earlier uh, today. Uh, tell us about that conversation, what she and her wonderful brother Lincoln had to say about their mom. That's right. Pamela and Lincoln were able to be there uh, with Phyllis uh, during her final hours in the hospital. They had been with their mom for years as she battled this blood disorder. Uh, a lot of people didn't know that, uh, that Phyllis had this blood disorder for decades, and she lived a lot longer than the doctors thought she ever would. Uh, she was in a coma in her final weeks in the hospital, uh, but she was able to, to uh, her, her kids were able to be there and, and even to speak with her. They said that uh, Phyllis teared up in those final moments. So th clearly, the mom was able to hear what, what their children were saying in those final moments. Uh, Phil, uh, Pamela and, and Lincoln remember their mom as someone who was so full of warmth and love, loved being around people, had this incredible magnetic personality that filled the room. In fact, she, she gets a lot of credit for helping her then husband win the, the Kentucky governorship back in 1979, John Y. Brown Jr. Uh, you know, then Pam, uh, Phyllis went on to be the first lady of Kentucky for four years, helped uh, the arts and crafts uh, in that state but reach national attention. Uh, and, and that's an important piece of this as well. You know, she went from Miss America in 1971 uh, and, and that's what catapulted her to TV stardom. And then as first lady of Kentucky, helped put the state on the map, helped start our museum there uh, as well. So these were important, compliment, uh, uh, con uh, important contributions, important accomplishments in multiple fields. But at the end of the day, Wolf, uh, Phyllis was a mom and a grandma, uh, a grandma to Pamela's two young children. She was able to meet Pamela's 12-week-old, 12, uh, 12 thankfully, uh, before she passed away. Yeah, so, so sad. Uh, what a wonderful, wonderful woman. Uh, and I know uh, that both uh, Lincoln and Pamela are going to miss their mom so much. Uh, totally understandable. All right, Brian, thank you, thank you so much for some thoughts. Uh, and to our viewers, don't forget, uh, Brian will be back tomorrow morning on Reliable Sources at 11 a.m. Eastern. And I'll have some uh, very personal thoughts about Phyllis George in the next hour here in the Situation Room. She will be missed. May she rest in peace, and may her memory be a blessing.